Guys, what we want you to do is present your head and their character synopsis. So, on you guys. Charles Cool. His birthplace is unknown. He likes swinging on vines. He dislikes Charles William Stevenson and his backstory. He went exploring with his brother in a forest. His brother died because of a gorilla. But Charles here managed to befriend the gorilla. And the gorillas took him in and taught him how, how they live and how to survive. He then left the gorillas and he's now following. Charles William Stevenson, despite strongly despising him. Okay, let me guess. This is Charles William Stevenson. <laughs> he is from London, England. He is a young 28 years old, and he dislikes Tarzane, cold tea, and British slang. He likes scones, money, excitement, and caviar. <laughs> he's one of the poshest businessmen out there. One day, he decides to go skydiving in a forest as he's very bored of his job. As he skydives, he notices something odd. He goes down in his helicopter to see when all of a sudden he sees a rare bird. As he takes a picture, he realises someone is stalking him. Suddenly, he gets snatched by his stalker, Tarzane, who takes him to the monkey tribe to see their queen. It surprisingly turns out that the queen is Charles's long-lost mother. So he runs back into the forest and is still looking for his helicopter one day later. Wow. Over to you here. This is Alonso, who used to be a boxer until he found his passion for books. Now he is a librarian that will get into fights with anyone that folds the page instead of using a bookmark. Excellent. Excellent. Nice, nice, nice. Let's have a look over here. Uh, who have we got? This is Shmanloom the Fifth. Uh, he is the son of the 34th Goblin Chief of the Yalg village, and his father's policy stated that any goblin that is too handsome has to be exiled from the village, even his own son. So, at the young age of three, he is exiled from the village, and he grows up in the forest, as a very handsome goblin is still a very ugly human. So, the humans won't let him into their society. But one day he encounters some monks and he thinks their lifestyle is very enticing. So he goes up to the mountain to become a goblin, sage, and or monk. However, his favorite thing to eat is rocks and animal feces because he, know, he learned that monks live a life without temptation and animal feces is the least tempting thing to eat. Uh, I also gave him this because it's like a reverse monk's crown. Okay, excellent, nice. Uh, so, Bruno, he was born in Argentina. He got a black belt in karate. However, he moved to Italy because his house burned down. He then became a streamer and got, like, an alcohol addiction. And so then he started stealing jewellery. I went to prison. And right now, he um, became vegan because his dog died and is struggling with his alcohol addiction. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is Obafemi. So he's from Stratford and his job is to sell cigarettes and his hobby is smoking and he dislikes Arsenal fan TV. He's born in Ilford and left school at 12. He's 35 years old and he stole Heineken beer from the pub. Cool, nice. It's fully sponsored as well. Right. This is uh, Jorge. Uh, he uh, works uh, for the army in guerrilla warfare from Mexico. Uh, he, has, actually, he was actually born there, he moved there when he was very young. He was born um, in Africa. Uh, he likes money, guns, and fishing out like the side of his helicopter, like over the ocean. But he actually hates mushrooms, and worst of all, he hates cabbage. Okay, yeah, that's as long as he's passionate. Uh, this is Somen, he is from uh, an Earth village, but he went to live with humans, uh, and he likes cycling but he dislikes children and adults, so basically all humans. Uh, and when he was young, he got involved in a car accident. So okay. he's fine. But he's fine now? He's fine now. Oh, that's brilliant. Depending that's what... on how you look at it. Yeah, yeah I can see, okay. yeah. This is Lunatic, Lunatic the Millionth. He was born in the sewers. <laughs> he loves animals, he hates kids. His job, I know about Sam Green, but he's a teacher, but actually, he finds him as a child labourer, and then his backstory is when, like when he's born, okay, every male in his family, okay, have to be named lunatic, okay, and then 
to give them this like special like a second earlobe cut into him. Okay. And then, he, so back to his teaching job, he actually in his classroom is like a secret ladder underground, and that's where he hosts his real thing. Then one day he went there, and the children kind of abused him and burnt his hair. And that's why he's bald. And cut his eye. Okay, brilliant. Who we on to now? So, oh wow. This is Old Master number 573. His occupation is swordsman slash teacher. His race is an elf. His personality is very sentimental. He's also very sadistic. He dislikes everything except his old memories. And his details about him is once he was the strongest swordsman in the world, but he got bored, and so he enjoyed a life of teaching slash bullying the next generation of generic fantasy protagonists. He lives... Do you mean in... like me? Of course. So. Okay, brilliant. He lives in every generic forbidden mountain ever, and his special power is... He's basically immortal. Okay, nice. Okay, who have we got here? Yeah, uh, this is Li Xingping. He's been a Taiwanese rice farmer since birth. He's uh, 40 years old and he hates Americans because they tried invading his hometown. And uh, he doesn't actually like rice, he only farms it because he's forced to and he'll be homeless otherwise. And he's scared of fire because once his field was burned down by the Americans. Brilliant, excellent. We've done everyone there guys. Yeah. Of course I've got mine. This is Barnabas Bridgewater. And he is from the Faroe Islands, but doesn't know how he got there because he never met his parents. Uh, he hates islands, he hates uh, pharaohs, and he hates the sea, but he loves penguins, and like the biscuit, not the animal. <laughs>